Morning. What I want to talk about is uh, bacteria, helping to identify what type they are. Well, as you know, we do gram-negative staining, gram-positive, aerobic, anaerobic, facultative, or obligate. So to get to get a jar to do the actual anaerobic, the quite expensive to buy, and also every time you use it, you need a gas pack. So I've made my own and you don't need a gas pack. So what I've done, piece of wood, drilled half inch hole through, so that a bolt will fit through it, yeah, which is that section there. Then I've got a base, a base here, two side pieces to screw to the base and screw to this top, which then forms that. Then the jar, which has a rubber seal and once you've got this airtight it's placed into this clamp like I say this is a piece of wood with a all half drilled through and a coin placed in to suck the wood from being worn away as you tighten the clamp down so when you've got your jar airtight it's then placed in under here like this Put your top on with the hole facing up and then screw it down reasonably tight that's that's okay then but the thing is when you're actually doing the actual making it airtight I don't use a candle I use sawdust and ethanol and make a, a mixture so it's just bit, you know, it all together the sawdust then when you've lit it, you place, once you put your sample in obviously, your bacteria, place it on the top and hold it down until the flame has gone out. Load it, you know, maybe two or three seconds after. Then you've got your vacuum created. Then you place it on the clamp, put down, screw down, and that's okay, it's finished. But the reason I, I do the mixture of ethanol and sawdust because if you put a candle in, it burns too slow, it's too small a flame. And it don't grab, you know, it do, doesn't create a vacuum enough. Yet it, you think it's, it is getting the oxygen out, but it isn't really. It's burning, it, it burns enough oxygen to put the candle out, but not necessarily create a vacuum and be airtight. So that's why you're better if you use a larger flame. But don't forget always, when you first light it, always hold that down tight till the flame's gone out. And also the thing is, I use the, uh, here's a 20, uh, sorry, 55 mil pressure just because of the size of my jar. You can't fit the 90 in. So, also I've made also I've made a small carrier which I put put my petri dish on the top there, place in, then light, top on, then into your clamp. And it works fine because I I put this in and it lasted four days. I tried it for four days and it still had a vacuum there after four days. And uh, it's, it's a good way of getting anaerobic bacteria to grow. So that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.